dear friends, today on the World Diabetes Day, we celebrate people living with diabetes and all the advances in the management that emerged from the discovery of insulin more than 100 years ago. This year it's particularly important because it will be one year from the resolution adopted by the European Parliament that started to change policies inside our region to improve outcomes for individuals living with diabetes. Many things improved in the last decades. However, there is still an urgent need to improve the situation in European region. One of 10 individuals very likely have diabetes and perhaps 30% of them remain undiagnosed, undiscovered. These people, when discovered, may have chronic complications already, which is a tragical outcome for each individual, their families, and of course also for our entire society because of the costs and the burden related to it. It is therefore urgent that we secure imminent access to both advanced technologies and disease-modifying medications. Particularly technology with the artificial intelligence and digitalization of healthcare is very important in any chronic disease. Diabetes is an example of a chronic disease that can use digitalization and artificial intelligence in the most efficient way. And is that's why perhaps the best disease to start with. On one side, artificial intelligence for individuals with type 1 diabetes helps dosing insulin inside advanced hybrid closed loop. And with this considerably improve the time in target range for each individual, the management capabilities, the long-term outcomes, and at the same time reduce burden. On the other side, with individuals with type 2 diabetes, digitalization and particularly continuous glucose monitoring can detect dysglycemia and postprandial elevations very early and thus enable us to start treatments with disease-modifying medications soon enough to prevent any chronic complication with this disease. What is more, modern medicines can concomitantly reduce weight, which is the driver of type 2 diabetes, and of course, make sure that the glucose is within target range. To ensure all this, we need screening programs, both for type 1 diabetes with antibodies and for type 2 diabetes with technology and digitalization of our healthcare systems. To do this, we have planned a high summit technical meeting together with the WHO Europe that will happen on the ministerial level of our entire region by the end of this month in November in Belgrade. We do hope that the policies adopted by this high level technical summit will further help to push our governments to understand the advantages of early detection and really early intervention with successful disease management for every individual with diabetes in our region. With this, my very best wishes to each and all of you for World Diabetes Day from IDF Europe.